Hey, Gabby. Good evening. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. How was your weekend? Um, good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I well, didn't do anything special. Just staying at home? Yes, yeah, just staying at home. Okay. I mean, did you watch movies or what? Um, no, just my phone, Instagram, <laughs> things like that. TikTok? Tic yeah, <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> I imagine. How old are you, Gabby? You're like 18 or 19, right? 18, yes. 18, I re yeah, I was going to say, I remember you being fairly young. So. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that's good. I mean, you have to, you have to do it. You relax. You, I mean, what else can you do, right? Yeah. What else? But today, there's not. <laughs> to be honest, there's not really much else you can do. Yeah, actually. Mm -hmm. Everything is pretty much at home, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, just stay at home. Okay. And what's your favorite thing to do when you're at home? Um, let me see. I think I don't have anything special. Just eat, sleep, <laughs> watch my phone, I guess. Okay. When, when I don't have something to do, like homework or something like that, I, I just do that. So right now you don't have a lot of homework or, or yes? A lot of homework? What? Homework? Uh, no. no, I already finished them. Okay. Well, that's a good thing. Nati, Selvin, how are you? Hi teacher, I'm fine. And you? I'm doing good, good. Uh, it's Monday, it's great, it's, you know, it's our fifth class, so it's amazing how fast this is the, already this week you have the midterm on Thursday. Yeah, it's really fast. And you, Nati, how was your weekend? What did you do? Uh, it was really great because um, on Saturday, Saturday, I went out with some friends. We went to Santa Ana to visit a friend. Okay. Yes, it was very, we, we were very happy because we had a long time we no see each other. So we, did. we didn't see each other. Yeah. And we were happy. Then the Sunday, I uh, just stayed at home mm -hmm. and get some rest and hang out with my family. Only that. Okay. All right. Well, sounds good. Sounds like you had a nice, relaxing weekend. Yeah, it was very relaxed. Good, good. And you, Selvin, how are you? Hey, teacher. How are you, Selvin? Hey, teacher. Fine. And you, teacher? Doing good, doing good. How, what did you do this weekend? Well, uh, the... The last Saturday, I only rest in my house. And the Monday, uh, I decided, decided that uh, my uncle, because she is sick. He. he or she? She. And uh, then it's not uncle, it's my aunt. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, she is sick. Um, I am visiting with my parents. Mm -hmm. I went to San Miguel. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. Uh, the trip is very tired. But yeah, I returned to five o'clock, more or less. And then I go to my bed. <laughs> the, so you went to San Miguel the same day and returned. You went yes. and returned the same day. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's pretty, 
that's pretty hard, right? Because it's a long drive. Very hard. Yeah. Yes, very hard. Okay. But uh, is, uh, I am happy to visit. Uh, yeah. To visit, visit the family. My, yes. Well, that's good. That's good, Silvio. All right. So today, um, I thought we had one more person, but I think she had uh, issues with the connection. But today, we're going to be looking at participles as adjective. What this means is we're going to be looking at the way that you talked about your weekend, the way that you describe things. That's good. Those are using adjectives. But we're going to use participle. That means words with ing. So for example, my weekend was boring or exciting or entertaining or amazing. That's kind of the idea. So we use it not only for the weekend, right? But we use it when we describe things. Um, very common, very common to use it to describe books, movies, um, shows, concerts, things like that, right? So Gabby told me she, uh, she watched uh, movies and TikTok, if I remember. Is that right, Gabby? Actually, just TikTok and Instagram. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Then the movies is my invention. All right. So just TikTok and Instagram. Okay. So uh, what do you like watching on TikTok? What kind of things? Um, funny videos, I guess. Um, let me see. Yeah, just funny videos. Funny videos. Okay, so that's the great thing. So that's when we use the ideas like something is entertaining or amazing or things like that. That's what we're talking about. We're using these words to describe what you watch, right? And it can be used in anything. So uh, we're going to start off. Oh, here's Marcy. Okay, she was able to connect. Hey, Marcy, everything okay? No, we can't hear you. Oh, yeah, yeah, now, now yes. Okay. You okay, Marcia? Have a good weekend. Thank you. Yeah, okay. I think Marcia is going to have some technical issues. We can't hear you too well, Marcia, but don't worry about it. We'll fix it. We'll try to get it fixed. Maybe it's just the audio or a little bit, uh, you know, delay or something. So, let's watch a small video in regards to participles so remember participles are the words with ing okay so we're going to take a look at these words with ing and see how we can use them can everybody see the screen yes yes all right perfect so let's watch this small video Nice to have you back with us. So, can you tell me which movies are playing in theaters right now? Can you tell me which movies have you seen? The next conversation is about two people trying to decide which movie to see tonight. Try to listen carefully for details. What's playing? Part A. Listen and practice. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Now that you have listened to the conversation, tell me what happens next. What do they decide to do? Write it on our discussion box. Yeah, her last movie was especially good. It's probably one of my favorites of all time. Actually, I didn't see that, but I heard it was just okay. Well, I'll call the theater and find out what time the movie starts. Hello? Could you tell me what time the new Halle Berry movie is playing tonight? I'm sorry. The Halle Berry movie closed last night. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Thanks. You won't believe this. It's not showing anymore. It just finished playing last night. Oh, no. I guess we're back where we started. 
Why don't we just see what's on TV tonight? That's fine with me. Nice to have you in theaters right now. About two people trying to decide. Listen and practice. Okay. So, as you can see, we have a lot of participles that are used as adjectives. Um, let's see if you can identify some of those that are used as adjectives. From this conversation, what are some of those words? Exciting. Exciting. Mm -hmm. um, boring, I guess. Yeah, that's right. Boring. Uh, fascinating. Fascinating. Excellent. Okay, I, mm -hmm. I don't know if interested. Okay, good. That's right. So we have the present participle and the past participle. The present one, ing, and the past is ed. That's also another one. You are correct. That's right. So as you can see, we use very common words, but we just, instead of using them as verbs or as actions, we use them as descriptions. That's the main idea. So when you talk about something and you're using participles, um, we're using them as adjectives. Now, as I mentioned, the very good that you identified it. That's the idea between the present participle, which is the ing, and the past participles, right? Those are the ones that we just mentioned that were the ed, okay? Um, is that okay up to there? It's okay the difference? The, yes. The function is the same. So that means both of them are used for descriptions. It's not that one is in present or one is in past. They're both used for the same time and used in the description. It's only how you write them. Was that okay? Yes, everything okay. All right. Just a quick tip. Thanks, Marcia. Thanks for the thumbs up. So just a quick tip. Normally, when you have ing, is because you are describing an object or a thing. When you have ed, you are describing your emotions or describing a person. So as an example, I went to the movies, right? I saw The Fast and the Furious. <gasps> Oof, the movie was exciting. I, my emotions, I felt excited, okay? The movie was entertaining. I was entertained. The movie was amazing. I was amazed. So this is usually the general rule. ING for the things that you're talking about, and then ED to refer to your emotions or to someone's emotions, okay? So let's watch the second part of the video, um, or the second video to make sure that it's clear for us, participles, um, and how we have the difference. Just give me one second. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. Here's a video that we're gonna see. Welcome. This time you will learn about participles used as adjectives in present and in past. Please take notes and feel free to play the audio program as well as the explanation as many times as you need to. Page 87. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Participles as adjectives. Present participles. Stephen King's books are fascinating. The last James Bond film was boring. The new Halle Berry movie sounds interesting. Past participles. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. I was bored by the last James Bond film. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. Before we begin, I want to go over to what exactly is the past participle. The past participle is the form of a verb typically ending in ed in English that is used in forming perfect and passive tenses and sometimes as an adjective. In this section, we'll study participles as adjectives. Pay attention. I want to go over two important points. Number one, do you remember what an adjective is? Very good. An adjective describes a noun. For example, 
The white cat ran away from John. Adjective, white. Noun, cat. In other words, because participles can be used as adjectives, it means that the participle as adjective also describes a noun. For example, the white cat was exciting to watch. Noun, cat, participle as adjective, exciting. Number two. I imagine you noticed we use present and past participles during the audio program. Let's work around that. When we use present participle, we add ing. And when we use past participle, we add ed. Notice what happens here. We took the verb excite and we turn it into present participle, becoming exciting. The same verb, but this time into past participle, and it became excited. I know you're wondering when to use participles in present or past. Here you go. Present participles describe a noun, and past participles describe feeling of a noun. I'll try to simplify it. ing equals outside factor that causes a feeling. ED equals expresses the feeling or reaction. With examples, I am sure you will understand it better. Here, I am just showing you the present and past participle. Interesting, interested. Tiring, tired. Exciting, excited. Now we'll use them in sentences. The museum is interesting. I'm interested. Work is tiring. I am tired. The movie is exciting. I'm excited. Please complete the description below with the correct form of these words. As always, write your answers in our discussion box. Okay, so how are you feeling? How's that? Uh, uh, is the grammar okay? You understand the content? Yes, everything okay. Okay, great. I'm going to take a picture of this and put it into our WhatsApp group so that also in case you are in WhatsApp, you can do it or if you're on your cell phone, you can do it. If not on the computer, and what we're going to do is we're going to make our partners, our small groups. Oh, my God. We only have five people today. Whew, I don't know what happened to the class. It's, <laughs> yeah, everybody decided to take the day off. It's, you know, continue the party from Friday. I don't know. Huh. But it's okay. We're going to go ahead and practice. So with your partners, you're going to practice completing that paragraph now all of those words are there right we have all of the words that we need to use but what you need to do is decide how to put it is it with ed with ing is it the present participle or the past participle okay so with your partners you're going to complete it and do it verbally that means you're going to do it uh, just speaking talking about it to make sure that it's clear Okay, if you are on the computer and you'd like to see that transcript or to see the video, it's 3.3. .3. So if you are on your computer, it's 3.3, .3, or you just look on your cell phone and it's in the WhatsApp. Okay, oh, that's the first part. So our first part is we're going to do 3.3. .3. When we finish 3.3, .3, we have I'm going to show you right now, we have 3.4, which is choosing. So 3.4 with our partners, we read and we decide which one is the correct one. Okay, we have several sentences. So only you read and you decide to complete those 10 sentences. So we have two activities. The first one, speaking, and the second one is reading and selecting the right one, which is 3.4. Okay, so... Any questions on what we're going to do? No, thank you. 
Okay, let's do it then. Great. Hey, Marcy, you're having some problems tonight, huh? Marissa, do you have any questions, any problems? Okay. Um, you have the... the the picture or can you see the the paragraph yes in the paragraph uh, i have a terrible tie at the movies first my ticket cost ten dollar i was really uh, i think we can use Shark by the price. Shock ED. Yes, ED. Shocked. Uh huh. Shot by the price. Mm -hmm. Then by mistake, I gave the cashier a $5 bill instead of a 10. I was a little. Um, Oh, I don't know. I think we can use annoyed, like, but I don't know what you say. I think we can use annoyed and see then the others. Right. Then there was trash. Then there was trash all over the theater. The mess was? Trash was all over the theater. Disgust, no. Disgusting or annoying? No, it's uh, disgust because then she talked about the people behind that talk a lot. So the mess was disgust, I think. Oh yeah, the people behind me talk during the movie, which was annoying. Yes, that's right. Okay, do you want to continue? The answer. What is the, the answer? The mess was? The mess was disgust disgusting. Okay. Okay.
Okay. The people the, being with, with ing. Yes, with ing. Yes, because it referred to the man. The people behind we talked during the movie, which was annoying. Okay, annoying. Then the story was hard to follow. I always find thrillers too, too confused, confusing. Because she's talking about the movie, right? Mm -hmm. Thriller too confusing, right? Confusing, I think. I agree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me all of the answers then. Who would like to read the, uh, the paragraph with the answers? Toby? Yes. Did you write the answers? Not yet, not yet. Wait, wait the five minutes. I have, a I have a terrible time of the movie. First, my ticket cost $10. I was really shocked by the price. By mistake, I gave the cashier a $5 bill instead of a 10. I was a little embarrassed. Then there was trash all over the tears. The mess was disgusting. The people behind me spoke during the movie, which was annoying. The story was hard to follow. I always find thrillers too confusing, and I like the special effects though. They were... I, I don't see... I don't watch the... The answer. Can you off the screen? Yeah. Please. And amazing, right? Yes, amazing. I think. Yes. Okay. Okay, very good. I think Selvin only needed to go up the screen to, to go up, right? But that, that was the right word. So you guys. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You see, the last one was amazing from the first word, amaze. All right, very good. You have all of the ideas correctly. Now you can go ahead and uh, do the writing portion where you read and write in 3.4, okay? Do you have any questions before you go to 3.4? Any questions about any, how to use or how to do it? No, teacher, I think I'm Okay, great. No. Easy. All right. On the second one. Is the Tanya got it? Did you guys fin did you guys finish the the paragraph? Uh, uh yes. 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 Okay, great. Yes. Um let's uh let's go over the answers to make sure that uh, you have it all correct. Um can you go to uh, 3.3? Or tell me the answers and we can we can check to make sure it's correct. Uh yeah, I can tell you. Mm -hmm. uh, do I have to read you all the paragraph or yeah, go ahead, practice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um I had a terrible time at the movies. First, my ticket cost ten dollars. I was really shocked by the price. By mistake, I gave the cashier a $5 bill instead of a 10. 
I was a little embarrassed. Then there was a trash all over the theater. The mess was disgusting. And the people behind me talked during the movie, which was annoying. The story was hard to follow. I always find thrillers too confusing. I like the special effects, though they were amazing. Okay, very good. All of those answers are correct. Great. Um, did you guys do 3.4? Uh, Section 3. Yes, 3.4. That's the next exercise. Using the, uh, the present and past participles in the context. Don't forget you have Ronald in your group. So that way you can also make sure to have Ronald participate. Ronald, you want to say hi? You're very quiet. Hi. <laughs> there you go. That way the girls hear that you're here. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. No problem. Check. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Great job. So all of them are correct. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So do you have any questions about it? How do you, how do you pronounce I have a question, so, Sorry. Yes. Yes, I, I have a question. Uh, I'm confused in this, in this part, eight and nine. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Because I was really is the past, and the verb is the past too. Always is the same because it's not the verb. That shocked is not a verb; it's an adjective. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The difference is ed is to describe the people, ing is to describe the things. That's mm -hmm. why in number eight, shocked is the pronunciation. I was really shocked because describe me, the emotions. So it's ED. But number nine, describe the mess or the disorganization. And that is disgusting. It doesn't matter if it's present or past because it's not a verb. It's an adjective. It's only like pretty or beautiful. So I can say, yes. I can say uh, Marcela is pretty. Marcela was pretty. Pretty does not change because is the the verb be that changes is or was the same in here is not the is not shocked or disgusted changes is only the verb was or is the changes um marcia that, was that your question how to pronounce shocked okay. sorry Oh, you pronounce what did what did Marcia say? Did you hear? Never. No, 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 Marcia. Zero. Your 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 message is like cut. Uh, what number? What number, Marcia? If you have problems with the with the audio, you can write in the yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, number eight, right? That was number eight, right, Selvin? I think that was number eight. Can you check? Yeah. Oh, no, no, but Marcia wrote a different one. Marcia? Different. Yeah, I don't know. Uh-huh. Yeah, number eight. That no, that's the right, that's the right one. Yeah. Shot. Like sha. Shot with T. The pronunciation is T at the end, Marcia. Okay, so we're okay with those? Okay, next. All right, perfect, great. So now I want you to practice speaking with your own opinions. With your partners, you're gonna describe things and your emotions, for example, concerts, movies, books, food, uh, locations, how was it? Ah, oh, I went to a taco, it was amazing. Or maybe I went to see the circus and the circus, I was, uh, it, it was incredible. I was amazed, I was entertained, I was whatever you want, but you're going to describe things that you have experienced in your life. Movies, books, 
uh, places, locations, hotels, restaurants, food, different things maybe you saw on the bus. One time I was on the bus and the bus stopped very fast and the person went flying, flying on the floor. But like in the cartoons, the person went zoom. I have to say, it was so funny, so funny. It <laughs> started to laugh. I, but it was, it, you know, I, at first I was scared because it looked like the person was hurt. That's what you're going to do with your partners. Tell a story, talk about it, feel natural, just describe the things. It's okay? Okay. Okay, take turns, who's first? Make a decision with your partners, you can do it. That Disgust. is disgusting with ING. Confused. No, confusing. The yeah, that. One. You don't have the the second one. This. Uh, I put there. No, it's amusing. This. This. Amusing, yeah, the, yeah, that one. Hey, hey great Scottish. job. Yeah. <laughs> great job, guys. That's excellent, excellent work. Um, are all of those words okay? Do you understand how to pronounce them? Do you understand the meaning? Uh, in my case, yes. Okay, Gabby's okay. Tanya, Ronald? Yes. Yes, Tanya, Ronald? Okay, Ronald's not there, no problem. So now what you're going to do with your partners is we're going to practice the speaking part. The speaking part is you're gonna talk about things that you have seen, uh, books, movies, places you have visited, uh, cities, stores, restaurants, food that you have tried, okay? And you're gonna try using this. As an example, I was, I went to a taco um, and, uh, oh, no, 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 not a taco. I went to, a, um, what's the name? Oh, uh, La Cascada de Tamanique. Oh my God, I was amazed at how beautiful the place is. It's so exciting that you can jump and swim and have a great time. There's, um, you know, there's no place to cook or anything, but it's, it's, it, it's a, uh, an incredible experience. It's very exciting. You see, I'm using the grammar. So all you want to do is describe places, uh, food, movies, books, locations, people, activities that you have seen or done. Okay. Okay. okay, with participles. Yeah, yeah, We're just yeah. speaking, just using the verb, the adjective, oh, right? No. If, if, if in some moments, maybe you can't use a participle and you use a different word. For example, it was a pretty place or it was beautiful, but in other situations you can, and you say, oh, that place was amazing or it was, ah, it was disgusting or it was confusing or whatever. So try to, the important is to feel comfortable describing different things, describing places, describing clothes, food, restaurants, your house, your friends. That's the most important. Okay. Okay. All okay. right. Ronald, you okay? Okay, I, if not, just Tanya and Gabby, you guys go ahead and continue. Maybe Ronald's having a problem with the audio and you know he can't he can't speak, but maybe he can just listen. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Okay, um I don't know if you Tanya want to start. Uh, yes, is the uh, is, oh, yeah, yeah. is the place amazing 
because is the the beautiful uh, landscapes. Uh, my, I am think that the traffic is will be the same because very people will go to the beach in this day. Yes, that's right. But uh, I, to me, the beach of the uh, Puerto de la Libertad, I think that the, the beach, I don't like, I don't like the beach in the Puerto de la Libertad. I prefer the Costa del Sol. Mm, yes, that's right. <laughs> Vice versa, my man said, in my case, mm -hmm. I always go to the Costa del So in my case, it's like I rather, I rather to go to Puerto de la Libertad. Yes, really? Really. Because I never go alone. You know what I mean? It's different with me. <laughs> different. <laughs> yeah. And you know the beach of the San Miguel and La Unión? No, no. The most of the time, just Costa del Sol, Costa del Sol, dude. I don't know, um, Montoya, where, where she likes know to go, the what Cuco kind beach? of beach. I you know the Cuco the, Beach? The Cuco Beach, yes, I love Cuco. But yes, it's a beautiful beach. It's a beautiful beach. It's far, so and the, you can't go too often because it's very far, like three hours. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Far away, far. It's far, but... Uh, far, far away. If you, That's if not you far take away. The, yeah. the trip in only one day, it's very, it's very hard, but if you take the trip two or three days, it's, it's nice. It's a lot expensive. <laughs> Only need a a, a, a boyfriend or, or, or girlfriend to San Miguel or La Unión. Yes, only, that. only that. Hey, Marcia. Okay, I think we have, hey, when you have, now we have more people back, it's great. All right, so uh, before we continue with our next activity or progressing, uh, any questions, anything that uh, is not clear or you're not sure how to use? Teacher, how do you say antojitos, pero como típicos, comida típica? Uh, well, that is, the first is called typical food, right? Typical. Uh, yes. And antojitos are probably, are usually referred to as snacks or finger foods. Um, finger food is maybe a little bit more elegant and people refer to it like at parties or something because finger foods can have, um, you think of the American form of the finger foods or the Canadian where they have a ham, cookies, uh, olive oil, olives, grapes. This is the idea. And in El Salvador, this is not a, a typical food for us. This is like an, an elegant form where you have the ham, the cheese, things like this. For mm -hmm. us, for us, the typical finger food is pastelitos, empanadas, uh, you know, <laughs> things that you, you use the same thing. You use your hands, you use your fingers to eat, but a little bit uh, more common in this way. Mm -hmm. So you can have both of those. What what were the name? How can you say it? How do you say antojitos? Snack. Snacks. That's right. Snacks or finger foods. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, any other questions? Any other words? No, thank you. All right. Nothing. Good. Good to know. All right, Selvin, how about you? How are you feeling? Everything okay? Is it clear?
don't worry, you're on mute, but I understand. I, I think as you said, yeah, no problem. Everything's clear. <laughs> fine, you're fine. Okay, okay, making sure, making sure. Jose Perez, how about you? You okay? Uh, for this moment, yes, teacher. In this moment, yes, teacher. Okay, all right, because I know sometimes it gets a little confusing. All right, so great. So we're doing a great job so far. Now we're gonna be looking at our next topic, okay? Our next topic is looking at synonyms um, specifically, okay? Now, we understand adjectives, right? Adjectives, like the ones we just practiced, are describing, like I, I heard some of the groups, somebody was talking about Tunco Beach, or, 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 or no, 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 Cuco Beach, Cuco Beach in San Miguel. Yeah, 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 no Tunco, Cuco Beach. And it's very far, but it's beautiful. And other people say that it's too, too expensive or hard to go. So these are the ideas. These are adjectives. Anything that you use to describe is an adjective, right? So what we're going to look at sometimes is important to have synonyms. That means that another word that is similar, not sometimes not exactly the same, but it's similar. So if I say, hey, Tanya, you are pretty, but maybe Jose says, hey, Tanya, you are beautiful. Or Celine says, hey, Tanya, you are gorgeous. Or you know, all of these are similar words. They don't have exactly the same, but they're synonyms. They're the ones that are comparatives that we use to describe similar meanings. And that's going to be our next topic, okay? Specifically, common synonyms for are of adjectives. So for this, we're just gonna watch a small video on giving your opinion. So, because remember, the most important is that really, when you use adjectives, it's really about opinion, right? It's, that's what you're doing. You're describing your opinion. Beautiful, pretty, ugly, uh, intelligent, stupid. Uh, all of those is an opinion. For you, maybe it's pretty. Maybe for someone else, it's ugly. Maybe for you, it's intelligent. Maybe for someone else, it's dumb. Those are the things. So let's watch the small video on your opinions, and then we're going to have the opportunity to practice. Hi, ready to work? Go over the list of synonyms and place them under the correct category. Please listen to the following list. For you to work it out, you must make a chart on your notebook like this. So go ahead, listen, and place the synonyms properly. Make sure you ask your teacher to double check on your answers. Absurd, bizarre, disgusting, dreadful, dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, silly, Terrible, unusual, weird. We want you to write four sentences using the words learn. Okay, first is all the pronunciation of those words. Is that okay? Do you understand how to pronounce all those words? Uh, teacher. Yes. Would you uh, repeat the pronunciation, please? Yes, yes, yes. I'll, I'll play the video one more time. And if not, then I'll, I'll do the pronunciation, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. To work it out, you must make a chart on your notebook like this. So go ahead, listen, and place the synonyms properly. Make sure you ask your teacher to double check on your answers. Absurd. Bizarre, disgusting, dreadful, dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, weird. Okay. Is that okay or would you like me to pronunciate them? Yes, uh, what do you mean the dreadful? Correct. That is good. That is dreadful. The pronunciation is dreadful. I'll, I'll pronounce all the words so that you can hear them clearly. Okay? So we have absurd, 
bizarre, disgusting, dreadful, dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, and weird. That's okay for everyone then, the pronunciation? Okay, teacher. Okay. Yes. Good. Now we're going to do the part where you and your partners, it's in the WhatsApp, or if you are using the computer, one more time, 3.6, or it's in the WhatsApp. And with your partners, you are going to put those words in the categories. As an example, the first word is absurd. Absurd. So you think, hmm, what is a synonym of absurd? Is it awful? Is it wonderful? Is it stupid? Is it strange? And with you and your partners, you discuss, you make a decision. You can look it up, you can decide, find synonyms and antonyms, okay? But the idea is for you and your partners to practice the speaking and negotiating. I think it's this, I don't know, I'm not sure. This is the important for you and your partners to classify them. Okay, everybody's ready? Yes. Okay, that's great. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I guess the dam is fine animals or oh, stupid? Yes. Dumb. Um, I already think ready. Weird. Weird, yes. A synonym from awful. The last um, one. The last column. How do you spell that word? W E I R D. Okay. Oh, weird. Okay. The next. What is wonderful? Yes, wonderful. Wonderful. Um, Fabulous. What? Fabulous is the in the column number two. Fabulous. Amazing. No. Also, where where is amazing? Amazing, wonderful. I think it's it's amazing. Horrible. Oh. Awful. Strange. Oh. 
It's wonderful. Outstanding. Oh. And wonderful. Wonderful. No. And uh, yes, yes, yes. Outstanding. Yes. Outstanding. When I play the video games, the words outstanding when you are wonderful or fantastic. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. This is stupid. Oh. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, silly. Strange. Mm. Strange or stupid? Yes. Yes, stupid. Terrible. It's awful. Everybody's wonderful. Not terrific. Terrible. It's terrible. It's awful. Awful. Yes. You know, sure and strange. Yes. Where? Where? Strange. Yes. Strange. Disgusting. Oh, yes. What happened, Marcia? I don't know. Everybody disappeared. You having problems with the microphone also, Marcia? I'm gonna move you to another group, Marcia. Anya, what happened? Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> what you are by yourself? What happened? I don't know. I eh, he's you uh, in in his work work. Maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe. Yes. Okay. All right, let's go to the big group. Hey, Selvin, Marce. All right, we're, I guess we're, we're we're almost finished, so it's okay. Maybe some a little bit of technical issues there, right? Yes, teacher, you finish. Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, in that case, we are going to pause right there. It's time for us to stop, and tomorrow we have an opportunity to practice some more, using again and progressing. So, remember, present participle ing. Past participle, ed. The two are adjectives. The two can use to describe things. ing for things, ed for people. That's the main idea. So when you okay. say ing, the people. When ed, the, I'm uh, sorry, ed, the emotions, and ing, the things. Yes. All right. Thank you, Thank you guys. Have a great night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.